What's going on guys, Tmart here, and today I'm bringing you guys some more Call of Duty Ghost Xbox One Safeguard gameplay. So, this is another gameplay I recorded when I was out at Infinity Ward the other day. They were nice enough to invite Syndicate and I out there, so big thank you to them for allowing me to bring you guys this gameplay a, a little bit early. But uh, anyway, today, I kind of wanted to show off the USR Sniper a little bit to you guys. This thing is supposedly one of the more powerful snipers in multiplayer. I was actually talking to Candace, who's the, uh, the community coordinator for Infinity Ward, and she said this one was her favorite, both because it's very powerful and it doesn't give you very many hit markers, but also because it has a built-in ballistic CPU, which you can kind of see on top of the sniper, and, and apparently this thing compensates for recoil for, for up to four kills. So, you know, I think this thing might be kind of like the head honcho sniper in Call of Duty Ghost. You know, it's going to be what the game's known for, like the M40A3 was for COD4, you know, things like that. So I wanted to show it to you guys because it's pretty good, but I also wanted to show it to you guys because it really shows how important it is to rank up your guns when you're playing safeguard mode. So we kind of touched on this in my safeguard kind of like overview video. If you guys didn't see that, I'll annotate it on screen and link it down in the description. But, but yeah, this just, it, it really shows that if you want to do well in safeguard, like the pro tip here is to pick the weapons you're going to use for the entire game within the first couple of rounds. Rank them up as fast as you can, get as much damage, you know, multipliers and, and damage increases as you can, and that's what's going to allow you to do the best and get the farthest in this mode. You know, that's something Syndicate and I didn't really figure out for the first couple of rounds that we played, but, but once we did figure it out on our last round, we got to like round 25 or something like that, which is actually pretty good. Like, that's getting up there. So, so yeah, you, you want to pick your weapons, you want to rank them up, you want to get those damage bonuses, and you just you want to stick with those same weapons throughout the entire match otherwise you're going to be screwed you know even right here in round three when i picked up this sniper i was still kind of screwed because it wasn't even a one shot kill at that point so uh, yeah in safeguard make sure you stick with the same weapons and rank them up as fast as you can now uh, one other thing kind of on that note that i want to mention to you guys is the pistol is actually a very, very good weapon for this mode. Like, I know a lot of people, their first instinct is they're going to see their pistol and they're going to want to switch it out for a different primary weapon. But the pistol, if you rank it up correctly, is actually very, very good. Like, it shoots really, really quickly. There's a really high fire rate on that thing. So if you have a good trigger finger, you're going to be able to put tons of shots down range. And it also reloads very quickly, which is very, very important. Like, yeah, LMGs are great in this mode. But when you're sitting there reloading for four seconds as 30 guys come at you, you're going to be screwed. So, you know, it's great for reloading. And, and then also, it comes with a ton of ammo. Like, when you get your full restock of ammo, it gives you a ton. You aren't going to run out very quickly. So, uh, that's also kind of a little pro tip for you guys. If you want to, try sticking with the pistol in this mode. See how it does for you, you know. See how you like it. Because I was using it a couple of times, and it just it worked out really well for me. I mean, the sniper-pistol combo is, is a pretty good combo. And I say that as I switch out for the Vepper here. But, uh, yeah, there you guys have it. That's really all I want to tell you guys about. I want to show you guys a little bit of the uh, the, the sniper gameplay here with the USR. I think it's going to be the best sniper in Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer. So, uh, you know, be sure to try that out once you get your hands on multiplayer. But also, I want to give you guys a couple of tips about Safeguard. One is to make sure you stick with the same weapons from the beginning couple of rounds. Rounds, uh, you know, throughout the entire gameplay, because that's going to give you the best chance to do well. And and then also, the pistol is actually a pretty viable weapon that I think you guys will like. So uh, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I got a bunch of great ghost videos coming soon. Check out one of the other two videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet. Thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks again to Infinity Ward for allowing me to record this gameplay. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.